labeling the edit fields is essential for accessibility. Clear and descriptive labels can help users to interact with forms more easily. When your app includes editable elements that allows users to enter text, each editable element should have a descriptive label to indicate its purpose. Without proper labeling, accessibility services such as the TalkBack screen reader cannot provide context for users to interact with the edit fields. TalkBack would simply announce edit box. This can lead to confusion and frustration for the users. With Google Play's Android pre-launch report, we can find the issues related to editable item labels in accessibility issues section. For more details on different accessibility sections in PLR, please check our previous video on what PLR is and how it can help to create accessible apps. In the accessibility section of PLR, under content labeling, we can view the list of warnings for editable elements which are not provided with labels. Going into details, we have device specifications, element path, and a screenshot highlighting the element at fault is also available. To learn more about the issue and to know how to fix the issues, recommendations are provided along with a learn more link for more details. Let's look at how we can fix these issues. In this example, the edit text field for email is not provided with a label. To fix the issue, we can set the text we use label for attribute to indicate the relationship and assign the label for the edit field. Other ways also include using Android Hint for the edit text elements when a corresponding text view is not available. To understand more on the labels and the best practices for writing the labels, please do watch the content labels video in this series. Follow the Android accessibility documentation to learn more about edit text elements and other principles to make your apps more accessible. Links are provided in the description. Thanks for watching.